Hello and welcome to this tech tutorial on bypassing the FRP or Google Lock for this HTC Desire 530 mobile phone. This tutorial is for educational purposes only and I take no responsibility for this being used on a stolen device etc. This tutorial requires little technical skill and I will show you how to perform this bypass to get rid of the lock if you follow along with the instructions that I'm about to give you. This tutorial is for people who do not have access to a computer to download the appropriate files. It is easy to download the files on a computer, but we can get around this. We're going to start this off by powering on the phone and waiting till we get to the welcome screen. Now go ahead and click the arrow. And now you will see your Wi-Fi networks. This is important. You need to connect to a Wi-Fi network for this to work. So go ahead and connect to any of your networks and then press next. This process will take a bit of time, so let it go through until you see the Google account lock screen. And accept anything that might appear as you wait for the lock screen to appear. And here is the FRP lock or Google lock screen. This is where we can actually start the tutorial. Now go back to the first welcome screen by tapping back. Now you will need to press and hold two fingers where it says welcome and wait for the prompt about talk back until you hear the beep. Now it will come up with use talk back. Double tap this to accept. This is a bit tricky so it may take a few tries to get right. Next, it brings up a tutorial window. Simply double tap on exit to exit this menu. With the talkback function on, draw the letter L on the screen. Some new options will appear. Select the top right one, which is talkback settings by selecting it. Scroll with two fingers to the bottom where it says talkback suspend. and select the checkbox by tapping twice on it. Now press both the volume up and down key to disable talkback. And then select OK by tapping twice to turn that function off. This just makes it a lot easier to navigate the phone for the rest of the tutorial. Now you need to go ahead and select on Terms of Service. This will bring up Google Chrome. Select Accept and Continue and then select no thanks. At the top is a search bar. You now need to type in root junkie FRP DL and press enter. Select the first result shown to be then brought into the download section. At this point, you need to download two files. The first one to download is called Android 6 Google Account Manager. Once you have found this, select it to download. It will ask you for permissions, which just select Allow. It will then ask you to save the file, which at this point, just press on OK. It will say downloading and that's it. It won't come up with it being finished, so give it a few moments to download. Next up, we need to download com.rootjunkie.frp bypass. Select it and press OK to download. Once again, wait a minute or so before continuing on just to let the files download in the background. Now we need to go right back to where we started. So press the back button at the bottom until you get right back to the welcome screen. We will need the talkback functionality again. So press and hold volume up and down. The suspend talkback window will appear, this time double tap on cancel. Now we have to draw the letter L again to open those extra options up. Once this is done, select text speech settings. Once in here, go ahead and hold both the volume up and volume down buttons to turn off talkback. Accept this by tapping OK twice. Now in text to speech settings, simply press back at the top left of the screen. This brings you into the settings menu. Now scroll down and find Google, and then we're going to select that. Now select search and now, then select now cards, then select show cards. A pop-up will appear about Google now, just select no thanks. Now a Google search bar will appear at the top. Go ahead and type in file manager or until the application appears. Select file manager and now we have access to the files we need to use to bypass the FRP on this device. You will now see a list of folders. Go to the download folder. 
there should be two files there, one being Android 6 Google Account Manager and the other being com.rootjunkie.frp bypass. You need to select on Android 6 Google Account Manager first. Once you select this, it will say installation blocked. Select settings, scroll down to unknown sources and select the box to allow it. It will ask to accept, so just go OK. Just press back once to go back into the file manager and once again go to Android 6 Google Account Manager. Press install, accept anything that may pop up. And once it's done, just press on done. This will bring you back to the file manager. The next application we need to open is com.rootjunkie.frp bypass. Select install. This may take a while, so just be patient. Once it is done, tap on open. It will now bring up a window saying to retype password. See those three dots at the top right of the screen? You need to select them and then go browser sign in. Press OK when the prompt appears. Now at this point, you will need to sign into your own Google account on the device to bypass the original Google lock. So go ahead and do this now. Make sure you are still connected to Wi-Fi at this point in time or else this part will not work. Once you have typed in your details, select sign in and it will sign you into the device and then kick you back to the file manager. This is quite normal. Go ahead and restart the device. Once the device has been rebooted, go through setup as per normal. When you've selected whatever you want to set up before we get into the operating system, press on finish. And just like that, we have bypassed the Google lock. However, if you want to start off on a clean slate, I would suggest the factory reset the device once you have removed your own Google account. If you're going to keep the device as it is, go to settings, accessibility and go to talkback and select off. This will get rid of the talkback setting popping up whenever it wants to. And that's it, the bypass is successful and you can use the phone as normal. So now that this is done, please let me know if this worked for you. It may work on other devices, but this method I only tested on the HTC Desire 530 running Android 6 Marshmallow. Thanks for watching and I hope this worked for you. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.